Okay, so Corey, we have on this table um, Terrence Webb, and again, we see Kanai Douglas, the winner from the previous match. A uh, bit aggressive from Kanai on the serve. Looking to be strategic. Serve fast and long into his opponent's forehand and put him on the defensive. Yeah, it looks like Terrence seems to favor defense play because he likes to step off the table. Right now he's going into a rally with Kanai. Oh, that was excellent, excellent change of direction. Caught Kanai unaware. To his far forehand. Counter top spin, excellent. Counter top spin by by Kanai. Yeah, Terrence Terrence's consistency on his forehand was evident there, but unfortunately his pace wasn't enough to cause any troubles for Kanai on, on that rally. Yes, this is, that's definitely correct. See, um, Terrence, like I said, he, he favors defense. He doesn't like to hit the ball really hard. He, he, is, he favors consistency just like Zaire in the last match. But I don't think, I don't think, I don't think it would, it's catching Kanai off guard like before. Oh, good forehand by Kanai. It, he gets a bit of luck and it hits the net, but good forehand though. As we know in table tennis, they all count. Yes, they do. It's very annoying, but it can't. Ooh, excellent anticipation. He saw that he had played a ball to his opponent's backhand, and he was probably going to get a weak return, so he took the initiative, stepped around, and finished it with his forehand. Excellent tactical play. Kanai has four game points. Four game points. Oh, Terrence is hitting it a bit harder. Oh, and causes Kanai to hit it into the net. Yeah, change of pace, actually. Change Caught him off guard. Oh, no. Kanai has two game points. Oh, Kanai does another error, hits it into the net. Terrence is coming back. Oh, Ooh, complacency back. and his loud as a burn in the slight window. Oh, Terrence tries to smash it but hits it off the table. It's 11 10 to Kanai. We all know when it gets this tight, nerves start to take place and things get a little tight. It's very pressuring at this point. Oh. Uh, we see we see the nerves coming into play. Easy error. Oh, Terrence tries to change up his pace and it actually works because he gets a lock and hits it into the net. Hit, gets a net shot. Oh, Terrence tries to smash it again but goes off the table. It's deuce once again, 12-12. Both are working on consistency, just trying to keep it on the table. Nice long rally. Oh, Terrence tries a backhand, but didn't have the acceleration. Didn't have the acceleration. Nice rally. Do you find it very awkward? Kanai is doing backhands on his forehand slide, but he manages to take the point, take the game. It's, it was 14-12 to Kanai. Oh, Kanai seems to be targeting his opponent's forehand on the on the on the service. He seems to appreciate that he's probably going to get a weaker return, and he can take the initiative. He li Kanai likes to run around on his backhand, which is a very, very effective, effective move in table tennis if you can execute it well. Looks like Kanai's. Terrence is being a bit more aggressive, but hits it into the net. Yeah, I think he realizes he needs to um, impart a bit more pace to the ball to actually win the point. Yeah. Kanai tries to top spin, but misses on the far forehand. It's... Wow. Terrence has a three-point deficit on Kanai in the second game. Oh, Terrence does a, tries to top spin, but hits it into the net. And it's 2-4 to Terrence. 
I think from a strategy point of view, Terrence will be better off changing the direction and playing away from Kanai's backhand. Yes, Kanai air, sorry. Yes, it will be very effective because Kanai has a very extreme backhand stance and also a grip. So <laughs> if Terrence was to change the direction to the forehand, it will be very hard for Kanai to, to make change, the yes, make the adjustment. But Terrence has got a six point deficit on Kanai and it's doing very well. And it's 8 3 to Terrence. And it's 8 3 to Terrence. <laughs> Kanai is coming up a bit closer to the table to take the ball a bit er earlier. So that means Terrence has to react. Oh, Terrence lobs the ball because Kanai done a far forehand shot. But Kanai smashes it into the net. And it's yeah, net. you really should have finished that. Should have finished that because it was really close to the net and very high over it. It's 10-5 to, to, to Terrence, and he's got a five, foot, five game points. Nice rally. Terrence tries to go for the top spin but goes to the net. Nice drop shot by Kanai and it manages to get the point off of him. Three game points to Terrence. Very fast back in serve and Kanai, Terrence takes the game. Oh, it's all level, one all. We're now into the decider. Terrence again using consistency and placement. A good placement of the serve. Actually that one was to the elbow region. The crossover section, as it's called in table tennis, where you have to decide between forehand and backhand. Excellent forehand aggression from Terrence. Haven't seen that much this match. Terrence has picked up his game. He, he, knows, he knew that he had to speed up the ball a bit, and it's working very well for him. He, he has a... It's 3-2 to Terrence in this, in this game, in the last, the last set of this match. Looks like Kanai's going to have to change up his strategy a bit. Goes to the far backhand. Kanai tries to step around the, f the backhand side into a forehand, but it goes into the net. Now he's attacking Terrence's backhand, and it's wrecking. And he got that point. Terrence actually hits it into the net. I think the match is going to come down to who is willing to take the initiative. Um, we see Kanai again being forced into an arrow in the backhand. Nice rally. Oh, Terrence smashes it, but Kanai returns it very well, but Terrence puts it into the net. It's 5-4 to Terrence. Oh, nice angle by Kanai, but Terrence was able to stretch over around and get it over the net. Oh, very awkward yeah. shot by Kanai, but... It was the depth, it was the depth that actually confused him. He had to take it a bit later as it landed further on the table. Good rally, good rally. Oh, Kanai is returning everything now. Even though Terrence is still winning, he's, he's found a way to get rid of his forehand weakness by doing backhands on his forehand, but it's working very well for him too. Good tactical awareness by Terrence. He was trying to move um, Kanai around the table. He got to open him, but he just didn't execute. Uh -oh. oh, and there, the dreaded edge point. Impossible to return, and Terrence reaps the rewards. Correction, almost impossible. <laughs> but yeah, edge points are like really, really hard to return because you don't know if they're going to hit the edge or not. Like I said, Zakari, it's going to come down to who's willing to take the initiative. We saw a very well thought out point by Terrence. Quick serve to the, to the opponent's backhand and then change direction quickly. He finds himself with five match points. Terrence has And five. nerves have, again, uh, caused the match to uh, come to a conclusion. Terrence, congratulations. That, was, that looked like a very well thought out match. Yeah, it's nervous a little bit, but worked out at the end. It was um, very um, um, encouraging to see you um, exercise um, mental strength. You were down one game to love and you managed to dig it out. Yeah, I tried my best. Yeah. 
looked like you was looking to be consistent and try and move him around. Yeah, I try because I'm playing him a few times, so I knew his strategy and. Right. You seem to have a, a more of a, a more well-rounded game. You seem you was comfortable on both your forehand and your backhand. Yeah, I play tennis, so yeah, I'm kind of comfortable. So. Ah, okay. All right. Well, we look forward to seeing you um, as you progress in the tournament. All the best. All right. All right. So here we have a, another match between Terrence Webb and uh, I think we have uh, Shannon Thomas here. Uh, this is for the last spot in the semifinals. Game's just about to get underway. Excellent shot by Shannon. Just cramped Terrence, the little on the backhand side. He didn't have much room. Good backhand shot from Terrence. Excellent, Terrence found Shannon out of position and, and took advantage. Good serve from Shannon though, cramped Terrence. Terrence is definitely looking a lot more comfortable against this opponent. Seems to have all the time in the world to play his shots. Shannon very smart with that service placement again catches Terrence out <laughs> Shannon seems to be imparting a lot more topspin it's causing problems with Terrence's timing that much is evident Opportunity for Terrence to put that one away. He made no mistake. Very close match so far. 6 all. Again, uh, easy opportunity for Terrence, but the top spin on that ball just caused him some difficulty. Good positioning from Terrence caused Shannon to fall into error in that time and again catches him out. The depth of the, the shot, always difficult to accommodate for the depth. Good aggression from Shannon taking the initiative. Excellent positioning from Terrence. Place that one in the crossover area between forehand and backhand. Always difficult. More aggression from, from Terrence Season with two game points. <laughs> excellent, excellent play by Terrence using change of pace, variations of speed, just to off-balance his opponent, and then when he found the opportunity, he took advantage. Excellent. Over-aggression from Terrence. Again, an easy ball. Had time to put it away, but just took his eye off it at the last second. Complacency with footwork that time from Terrence. Again, an easy ball. Didn't get into position properly and it resulted in him hitting it off the end. <clears throat> Shannon has again been placed on the defensive. Excellent serve, fast to the wide forehand, caught him out of position. Terrence seems to be going to the fast serve now, seeing his opponent seems to be having some difficulty returning it. Excellent. So the ball was high, took the initiative. Uh, 
Good recovery from Shannon. He was forced wide, imparted top spin, and confused the time in the Terrence. Good place with another serve from Shannon. Seems to be thinking his way through this one. Again, good placement results in him with a two-point advantage. Just try to be aggressive with the underspin that time. Easy error by Terrence. Tried to go back to the tactic of serving fast to Shannon's forehand to catch him out of position, but just... A little cramped, didn't quite have enough room to execute that one that time, Shannon, and it resulted in him hitting him off the end of the table. Good placement of the serve from Terrence. Again, going to that wide, that fast serve to Shannon's wide forehand. Even though he's tall and lanky, but the pace and the positioning caught him out. Comfortable finish by Terrence. The Bermuda School Sports Federation Table Tennis and Rugby Championships brought to you by Lindos.